Hello everyone, I'm Ernie and I am so glad you're here with us today. Today what we are going to do, we are going to smelt this material here. Uh, last week we did a project where we uh, smelted the CPU pins and we got this and uh, we're going to work on this at a different project. But anyhow, this material here is the exact same material as the CPU pins in this button, but this has been soaked in acid and crushed and powdered up, and we're going to smelt this today to see if there is any type of precious metals inside of it. So let's get to it. Okay, we poured everything into our glass um, cup here, and it weighs 107 grams. Let's get our flux going so we can smelt this up. Okay, here we go. We got our 107 grams of concentrate of this uh, CPU pins that has been soaked in acid. We have 107 grams of anhydrous borax. We have 107 grams of crushed glass. We have 55 grams of potassium nitrate. 50 grams of high litharge with flour, 20 grams of soda ash, and we are going to get this into the crucible and get it heated up and get the smelt going. We have our concentrate and our charge with a stick of rebar heating up in our furnace. And you can see that I had a slight boil over in our last smelt, and I need to repair the furnace. And the reason why we had a boil over is that I wasn't paying attention too much soda ash into the charge but this time I kept it low so everything should be fine let's get this thing heated up the sun sets so early these days that I am forced to use some lights to do my work at night It's about 38 degrees outside right now and my cone mold registers at 35 degrees so I am heating it up so we won't have any type of a thermal shock. The cone would not fall out of the cone mold and so I had to take a piece of rebar and my hammer and chip the cone out of the cone mold. Here is our slag from our smelt and I did not find a lead prill inside of the uh, slag but this is what it looks like and you can see the various colors, you can see the green, you can see some uh, copper looking material inside there, some um, goldish colored on the slag. You know, I'm not sure if that's gold or what, but uh, anyhow, we're going to re-smelt this and see what we get. Here is our material that I had hand crushed with my uh, little rock hammer. And so we're going to smelt it up. Actually, we're going to weigh it out and make some flux with it, then smelt it and see what we get. Here is our material of our concentrate and our slag and it weighs 330 grams and let's get some flux in this and let's get it going here is our material of our slag and our concentrate and i did put in 100 grams of anhydrous borax i did not put any uh, silica sand or any crushed glass in it because we have the slag and we got 50 grams of 
high litharge with flour, 50 grams of potassium nitrate, and 20 grams of soda ash. And to be really honest with you, I've never done this before. And so I was taking an educated guess on the material that I am putting in here. And we're going to heat up our crucible and we'll get this going. We are preheating our cone mold to 300 degrees so we will not get any thermal shock. Here is our lead prill that weighs 24 grams. And once again, I apologize about the shadows here. In this fall weather here in Northern Nevada, the sun is really low on the south side. And so we gotta work with the shadows, but we have 24 grams of a lead prill and let's get this cupel. Wow, we got this up to about 2,000 degrees before it even began to melt. There has to be some other type of metal within this uh, material because every time I blow a little bit of oxygen onto it, it just hardens up. You can see that we're not even getting any type of oxidation on this material and so there's no way for this cupel to absorb any of the lead oxide. I've gone through this process now five times and I can't even get this to oxidize. And so I'm going to have to do some research to find out how to get the precious metal out of this material. Well, this wraps up this episode on this project. And to be honest with you, I'm not sure what to do at this point. There's some other type of metal that's inside this uh, button, inside this prill. And it really takes about 2000 degrees just to uh, melt this uh, material. And so there's gotta be some other material in here that I'm unaware of. And until I find out what it is, uh, there's really nothing I can do unless I wanna use some acid and I am really not versed in acid right now I'm going to learn to do that but anyhow this wraps up this project I hope it assists you in some way and if you enjoyed this episode smash that like button share this on your channel so others can experience this project and maybe gain they may gain a little bit of insight of what has happened and if you haven't subscribed to our channel I encourage you to subscribe to our channel and to become part of of our AU family. We thank you so much for being here. We thank you for your support and we will see you on the next one.